This new AI, Higgsfield AI update is amazing. Get consistent characters, not just on your photos, but videos. So this will work with Google VL3. If you ever wanted consistent characters, this is amazing. Okay, so this is the new Higgsfield AI update, create consistent characters. So the first thing you need to do is go to character and we're gonna try something completely different and you'll see why. So all you have to do is create character and ask for upload at least 20 photos for the best results. Upload high quality image of one person, me or you. Uh, the more image you provide, the better the results. Show different angles, clear facial expressions, and consistent identity. Okay. Um, so what I did was I created a bunch of like videos. Let's say if you don't have a bunch of photos, you know, uh, I would just create a bunch of videos and take frames from those videos and create 70 different frames from different angles. So as you can see here, I created a bunch of these. Um, let's see. All right. You can actually see it right here. See, uh, it's just me doing different facial expression, different angles, different shirts, different shorts, turn around, I'm wearing something, wearing a hat. Now the color isn't like that the best because of the lightings. But we'll see what happens, right? So you can see me here, 70 different expressions, different lighting. This lighting is pretty bad. Uh, this is natural sunlight. Uh, there's a uh, lighting, uh, the lantern light behind there. So I think it's okay, right? Not bad, not bad. Here's uh, just a quick selfie of me, me. Um, and so let's see what happens, right? So we're gonna export everything and drag it in here and uh, see what happens. All right, we have, Excellent, 70 out of 70, that's good. Uh, average quality, good. Answer name, uh, let's name it biz, me, biz, uh, caps lock is off. Oh, biz body, generate 30. I don't have any credits, so this is, so this is not free. So let's, let's see what happens. Ah, okay, upgrade, upgrade to pro for more access. Got it. All right. We're not going to do annual. Uh, we're going to do a monthly uh, to test things out. 600 credits, which is 2,400 images, which is uh, not bad, right? 2,400 images, access to all videos. Um, okay. Well, we're going to do that. Upgrade to Pro. All right. Uh, I'm going to fill out this information and let's uh, go into a Higgsfield AI. All right. So what I see here, uh, this is uh, all the images that uh, I uploaded. It's going to use 30 credits, make your own character. It's in queue. Uh, I will time it. So I'm going to time it to see how long it takes to, uh, to have this Higgsfield AI learn about the character uh, and see how long does it take to train. Now, uh, some people say, I, I've seen some people say it took them five minutes. Some people took the, uh, like we're 40 minutes. So uh, we're, we're going to do a little bit of editing and let's see how long does it take for Higgsville AI to learn 70 different photos about me. Okay, so we have this new test. It finished generating pretty fast. It finished generating pretty fast. Okay, so uh, with your character, uh, you want to click on generate and in that generate, uh, you're able to see that character character and you can describe the scene whatever you want so uh let's make sure that you're at the soul model the hicksville model and you want to make sure that you are putting the right dimension so this is very important so we're going to do 19 by 16 uh basic or high high you're going to have to spend more credits basic is still good uh, either way i, I think uh, they're both the same uh, i don't see any big difference uh make sure that your model is uh selected this is my only model summer breeze vibe and the iPhone, you can actually choose a model that they already have, right? That's crazy. The visual style, they already made for you. And you can just select one without uh, entering without enter entering any type of prop, which is really crazy. So uh, we can do like sitting on a street. And uh, we can actually just generate here without using any type of prompt and just let it queue. Now, when I did this at the beginning, it, it, it took like five minutes. Uh, you notice that the funny thing about this it's like there, there's a clone of me right there on the right. There's a clone of me. But if you look closely, that the the image is actually pretty good. The image is actually pretty good. <clears throat> uh, it has my face structure, shape, body. <clears throat> would I wear uh, this pant? Would, would I wear this pants? Uh, I don't know. But 
it did uh, give a pretty good structure. Like I'm outside talking to somebody, uh, uh, looking to the left, you know, that's pretty good. Okay. So now this has finished generating. It only took like uh, one minute, really fast. It got the legs kind of right. Yeah. Uh, legs, right. Body pr pretty good. It's like realistic. I actually think that this is really good. Look at this. Uh, this body is uh, might be a little skinny. This is kind of me, me, kind of me. So like this is really good. I think Th this is crazy. Uh, the way that it looks like just like this, it is the real me. My face structure just like that. And uh, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Let's try something with a prompt to see how well it works with a prompt. Okay. Now, so now the, this is pretty good. Uh, so uh, we just selected. So we're gonna go here. Select food uh there was one a pretty good one new no no wait no this one is good uh food this is very good very good for any type of image let's say i want to uh i'm eating a giant <clears throat> bowl of pho with vietnamese coffee on the side i don't know <laughs> that's good enough i guess um generate okay so uh now this is generated I generated a uh, pretty fast, I think. Uh, pretty fast, I think. Now this is finished generating. The background is so high definition. It's like so realistic. Um, this face structure is a little bit tall. This looks tall, tall. This is like me. The 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 middle and the left is like me, right? Maybe I should be more more specific on what I should wear because right now it's just choosing the the blue one because I'm not stating it. My hair doesn't look like that like that. It looks more like this. I think looks like this eating like that uh pretty good i think okay let's try something else uh i like this chap handy we're gonna do like street wear fashionable fashionable uh hip-hop hip-hop happy smiling Where's hat? Let's see where this takes us. Okay. Okay, so uh, now this is generated. It generated uh, pretty fast, I think. Uh, pretty fast, I think. Now this is finished generating. The background is so high definition. It's like so realistic. Um, This face structure is a little bit tall. This looks tall, tall. This is like me. The, the, the middle and the left is like me, right? Maybe I should be most more specific on what I should wear because right now it's just choosing the the blue one because I'm not stating it. My hair doesn't look like that like that. It looks more like this, I think. Looks like this. Eating like that. Uh pretty good, I think. Right? Look at that. Pretty, pretty good. Uh the noodles. The face structure, yes. The hair, yes. True, true. All right, uh, let's try something else. So uh, we did another prompt. We did Tokyo street style, and we put where's pig hat fashionable drinking boba and sunset. Let's see what the the Higgs AI would uh, make from this. Uh, it's it's a pretty basic prompt with some details. Maybe I should describe the shorts, uh, and the sweater, the type of sweater. Maybe the something to wear. Maybe I should describe the environment. Maybe we should try that next. Okay, so after looking at this, it looks pretty good. Pretty HD. I love the um, the camera effect. This is pretty good, I think. Looking to the left, right? Uh, and this right here, like this. Looking to the left, really nice. Like this, I like this. Looking to the left like that, I like that. Uh, this is pretty good. It's like from afar, so that's pretty good. Uh, this is really good right here. Uh, I like this. I got a purse. That's pretty cute. Uh, sure. This is pretty good, I think. Wow. All right. I love it. It's wearing the pink hat. Looking up. Nice. All right. So uh, the next one that we're going to do is the selfie scene right here. So this prompt is pretty long. Very descriptive uh, on ChatGPT. Uh, we're going to click on generate first. Uh, so we're going to go over this prompt right here. Uh, it's a candid selfie of a young adult standing on a city rooftop at the golden hour with the warm sunlight casting a glow on their face. Wind gently blows their hair in a skyline 
of high-rise buildings stretches onto the background. The person is looking confidently at the camera, one hand brushing their hair back. Behind them, the sunset sky is painted with orange, pink, and soft purple tones, and the atmosphere feels cinematic and dreamy with a slight lens flare and a soft focus on the background. That's pretty descriptive. Uh, let's see how accurate Higgsfield AI can be. Um, let's see. So this is generated, but it, it looks pretty bad. This is not me. This is not me. This is not me. This is kind of me, I think. Kind of me. Yeah, this is kind of me, but I would never dress like that at all. Um, I mean, the, the face structure is okay, I think. As the beard, the eyebrow is kind of a bit weird, I think. But it's maybe it's not, you know, it's not always perfect. These three are not me at all. These three are not me. This is kind of me. Uh, so I think it's better if we just let it generate. Would that be okay? Oh, uh, let's try this one. Let's try to generate uh, by itself. No prompts. Let's see what happens. I, wow. Okay, so this is uh, so much better. All right, this does not look like me. This. This doesn't look like me. This kind of looks like me. This looks like me. Absolutely. This looks like me. This absolutely looks like me. Yes. Uh, I guess the only thing I would say that doesn't look like me is probably the, the skin texture. Uh, it could be a bit more uh, realistic because it, it's way too smooth, I think. It's way too smooth. But that does look like me. I like it. Uh, this kind of looks like me, maybe. This... Uh, this is not. Let's try. I think this one is pretty interesting. Uh, the giant accessory. That's pretty interesting. Let's say a banana. I always wanted to ride a banana. Pause. Uh, sitting on a banana. Uh, on a banana. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let it do that. See what happens. Okay, so uh, I like this one. This one looks real. This one absolutely looks real. Real, nice shadows and lighting. I love that. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, this one is okay. Uh, this one is pretty cute. Uh, it has um, that phone. This one uh, look, This one is kind of over-exaggerated on the smile, possibly. But I think these two are absolutely real. I like me sitting on banana. Maybe I should specify like uh, the actual location. All right, so I'm going to do a, the fish eye effect. Uh, we're going to be like busy street. How about busy, crowded nightlife? And with the fisheye effect, uh, casual nightlife date fit. Uh, how about wearing a suit? Wearing a white suit? Wearing a white suit? Uh, date. Date night, uh, romantic, cinematic, wearing a white suit. So we take a look at this. It doesn't look that good uh, because we see AI version of me in the background. So this, this is not good if you tell crowd. So what if we change that to date night, busy crowd, we remove that. And we say, uh, what about date night, romantic, cinematic, wearing a white suit? How about generate that? Without the crowd, um, none of these looks look like. Maybe the middle part looks look, looks like me, but it's okay. Maybe we should try something else because that that does not look like me. So we're gonna end with something a bit nice. Let's see if we can wear a Hawaii shirt or something. Let's see how this turns out. This is kind of hard for uh for for me to see, but I think this is good. It's not bad, right? The legs, uh, the beach, uh, might not look so uh, bad. The shadows, okay. If you look from afar, it looks pretty real. So that's pretty much it. So what will you create? So what do you guys think about this tool, Higgsfield AI? This is a game changer for not just this image, but also videos. We're going to get straight into that. The next video, we're going to explore Higgsfield AI and Veil 3 and see what we can make out of this. If you want to learn more about Google Veil 3 and AI animations, check out the link down below. It's a free newsletter. Join it. Check it out, and you guys can follow up on all the daily AI news and updates for AI production and content creation.